Hi, I'm Jez Bond, Artistic Director of Park Theatre. Thank you for listening to this appeal. I know it's a horrible time when everyone is being asked and everyone is asking. But we cannot let theatres and arts and community engagement suffer at a time when soon we're going to need it more than ever. Because as we all are self-isolating at home, there will come a time when we will return, when we will all crave and need that communal experience of being together again that theatre can bring and that joy to so many people. And of course, we're so much more than the theatre here as well. When we closed our doors, uh, we were in the middle of the most uh, successful sellout show, La Cage aux Folles. We had just received our fourth Olivier nomination, but we were also doing classes and workshops for young and old members of the community, including some of the most isolated. We spent seven years getting to this point, and we have a duty not just to all the staff we employ, but also to our neighbourhood to be there, strong as ever, when we all return. Now we're grateful for the government's job retention scheme, but unfortunately it only goes some way towards solving our problem. Staffing costs are not the only costs associated with running a building and running a company. Furthermore, at some point the furloughing will stop, people will be asked to return to work, public spaces will reopen, but at that stage we'll not be able to turn the taps back on the next day. No, it'll take us two or three months to remobilise, to rehearse shows, to plan effective marketing campaigns for our audiences. So at that time we'll have to be bearing all those costs and still without any income to show. Of course, as a charity, we are raising money even in a good year, and that's tough enough. So in this climate, with no income at the moment, all of this is potentially catastrophic. So far, we've been very grateful in that we've received donations from a number of extremely generous individuals who responded to a phone call out in the first week of closure. And that means we can survive, but we're going to come out the other end wounded. Not only do we all have uh, those costs to pay, but also we've completely depleted our reserves that as a charity we spent seven years building up, and we've completely depleted our production fund, which we spent four years building up, a designated pot of money to ensure that we can produce our own work, which is one of the main reasons for existing here. So for all those reasons, we really need to go further with our fundraising so we can be there for you, for the community, when we all return. So please consider a donation, however large or small, and know that when you walk through these doors and see our show, whenever we do reopen, you'll know that you've played a significant part in our future. Thank you.